Hello, everyone. We are here in Amsterdam ahead of the Bitcoin Amsterdam conference, which starts tomorrow. And today I'm talking to Matej Jacques, who is the CEO of Trezor, which people will know is the oldest, the original hardware wallet company, hardware wallet manufacturer. And well, first off, Matej, congratulations, because 2023 is Trezor's 10th birthday. Thank you very much. It is. Uh, so those 10 years ago, we invented the first hardware wallet and also the way you can back up your private keys. But I, I guess we will get to that through the products here. Yeah, absolutely. So tomorrow at the Bitcoin conference, mm -hmm. you have a big announcement because Trezor is releasing uh, a new product for the first time mm -hmm. in a few years now. Correct. Yeah, it is a big day for us because we haven't released hardware products in a, in a while. Of course, we are massively investing in, in software. So th those get, you know, basically continuous updates all the time. But we are a hardware company. And, yeah. and so we are very, very sort of fortunate and proud of, you know, having the opportunity to, to release new products tomorrow. So we are very excited about this. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, as we're getting towards the end of 2023 now, the events of the last year or so have shown just how important it is to use a hardware device if you're in crypto. Oh, for sure. Like, I think it's a great point because we had actually two sort of massive peaks and in, in sales in, in the past year. And those were related to basically to self custody questions, right? Like FDAs and all these other events that, that were happening. We, we had basically, or we broke the, our sales records during those weeks. So yeah. I think it's, it only kind of shows, you know, self custody makes sense. And I like to say, you know, like in Vino Veritas, so I, I like to say in sales Veritas, <laughs> in terms of like, <laughs> sales really it's the best sort of metric how the market reacts to, to certain situations and conditions and and, and you know basically self-custody makes sense yeah yeah and i should say if you're in crypto and you're not practicing self-custody then you're not doing it right um okay well let's move on to the product then Matei. so this is the, uh, this is the new device from trezor um i'm gonna let you uh talk about it and stuff but first i'll just sort of show it to the camera there now, what I'm going to do is, I always say this when talking about hardware wallets, you should always order direct from the manufacturer. And uh, the reason for that is that if you order from a third party, then there is a chance that it could have been tampered with. Someone could have already noted down the seed phrase, etc. So you want to order it direct from the manufacturer and you want to make sure it is properly sealed. Um, so, Matei, in order to demonstrate that, can you sort of open this up for us and show us the features? Of course. Let's open up the better boy here. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe I'll, I will try to speak about this product and maybe why we even did something like this. So, you know, a bit of a statistic. So there's roughly 420 million crypto users in the mm -hmm. world. And if you if you combine the sales of, of us and all our direct competitors, you basically get to less than 2% of people using hardware worlds. Wow. Right? And, and yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> That's what we're thinking as well. So we are kind of trying to find a way how we can you know, basically target and, and, and sort of serve the, the entry level market where we kind of want to show, you know, come to hardware wallets, come to self custody. They are actually not scary. They are very easy to use. So that's why we built something like Trezor Safe 3. Um, yeah, so as you said, uh, the seal are, seals are very important. So, so it's, it starts with sort of the packaging. So, so users should always make sure the packaging is untouched and, and it's not broken or anything. Mm -hmm. So you just peel this off. And then uh, there is some information because of course we keep also the manual online. So we can just go to the site, always go to trezor.io. That's the only site because there's also a lot of phishing on going on. So oh, yeah. make sure you follow the, the correct URLs. And then here it is. And it's quite, quite nice. Beautiful. Uh, again, there is some, you know, the manual is of course here, even in the paper form. And perhaps let's go directly to the to the device. There is a little hidden feature, so if you push, <laughs> oh nice, <laughs> so you can you can uh, take it out quite easily. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's a small little, you know, UX challenge because we ha had to add this little thing for users to kind of lift it up as well. But I'm just, uh, yeah, it's like a hidden gem here. It's the, it's the little details. Exactly, isn't it? the little <laughs> details and packaging make, makes a big difference in the whole experience. So, and again, there's another seal directly on the, the device 
for sort of an anti-tempering feature where you kind of make sure you know this has not been touched or mm, tampered with in, in any sort of way so you can just peel this thing off um, and as you can see okay. you know you can you cannot use this again it's basically it, it breaks the seal right or break, breaks the seal and, and it's done uh, and yeah and then you can just build this cover off and as you can see it's quite beautiful ah uh, yeah now it, this is this is one of this is one of a few colors isn't it there are is it four exactly. colors so this is uh, if i'm not mistaken galactic rose uh, and we have also we have four beautiful colors and four beautiful names <laughs> <laughs> quite difficult for me to uh, remember <laughs> single stage mm. uh, but uh, yeah so this is one of the colors uh, it comes in four uh, plus additional one that we will talk about and again, the device is quite, you know, we, we try to target or let's say try to build something that is also very beautiful. So not only yeah. very secure, very easy to use, but also, you know, sort of this mainstream consumer electronics where users will really feel comfortable with and, and sort of enjoy using every day. Yeah, so that's, that's the whole point. Um, yeah, so maybe let's talk about some of the security features. Yeah, I think perhaps edit over the over the previous entry model and the previous entry model again interestingly enough has been you know 10 years on the market <laughs> it's wow. incredible again we are a hardware company but we are you know investing massive amount of energy and passion and, and resources into software as well and that's why these devices are you know kept updated on the highest of secu secure level that you can have so but what we added to Trezor Safe 3 is secure element Okay. So let's perhaps talk about a bit of what secure elements are and, and why they, you know, are to a certain degree important, but also what are some of their, let's say, limitations, because it's important to say as well. Mm -hmm. So secure element basically adds an extra layer of protection against physical attacks. So if somebody got hold of the device and they would have specialized equipment, you know, it would make it harder for them to extract the secret, the master key, the private keys, because the what basically the hardware wallet does, it securely stores the private keys from your Bitcoin, right? So, so that's the whole point. So secure element basically protects the user at that hardware level uh, uh, against these, these kind of attacks. Um, but it's important to also note that they are not silver bullets uh, solution. And we still recommend to all our users to use passphrase, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, some extra layer of protection at the software level where since the passphrase is never stored on any of these chips not the mcu not the not the secure element it cannot be extracted because it's not there it's simply <laughs> if, if the data is not there it cannot be extracted in yeah. any way so it's kept outside of the either in your head written somewhere you know securely so it's outside of the device and therefore it cannot be hacked and all our devices you can use them with, with optional with passphrase, right? So it's that's the software level. So it's quite important to to note that. Yeah. And you'll never guess who is in the car. <laughs> And welcome back to GM Crypto. Now we have so much fun and exciting stuff coming up for you on today's show. But first, we need to talk about the Coin Bureau Deals page, Guy. That's right, Jessica, because it really is the place to find the very best deals in crypto. For starters, you can find bonuses of up to $40,000 at some of the best crypto exchanges. And that's not all, Jessica, because you can also get discounts on hardware wallets, sign up bonuses for some of the top exchanges and trading fee discounts of up to 60%. Amazing, Guy! Where can people find this deals page? Well, just head on over to coinbureau.com forward slash deals or use the link in the description. So well, I was going to say, so so even if, you know, even if you were to, to lose your device, even if mm -hmm. it was to be stolen, say, or you were to just drop it in the street, yeah. someone picking it up, there is, it, it's going to be near on impossible for them to, to do anything with that without exactly. the, without the, the private keys, etc. without exactly. the passphrase. I mean, there is, uh, you know, like in theory, uh, given the time and resources, it taken I don't know a thousand years to brute force some of it, but like it's close to impossible, right? So yeah. that's that's the whole point of a hardware wallet to really mitigate that risk to like close to zero. Yeah. Uh, and also with passphrase, it's really literally zero, right? Like that because if if the passphrase is strong enough, really, it's it's 
it's close to impossible or, or even yeah. impossible. So, so that's the that's the whole point. Um, yeah, like uh, we also would maybe one extra security I would say feature that we added specifically to Trezor A3. It's our first entry level hardware wallet um, because you know the previous Trezor Model One you couldn't use uh, what we call Shamir backup. Yes. Shamir backup is an advanced form of protection of your seed phrase mm. where you basically split the seed phrase in multiple shares and then you need certain amount of these shares as a threshold to recover the secret. So basically it kind of de-risks, you know, you like betting on just one seed phrase, you can create multiple and then right. use a certain amount to just uh, recover the master secret. It was not possible to be used on, on the previous entry level we have. On Trezor A3, we actually did it, uh, and it's quite you know easy to use. Uh, it has only two buttons, but it's still it's very sort of intuitive and quite you know fast that you can you can set up yeah such such protection. Yeah, this is something that people always talk to me about when they say you know when I start talking about self custody with them because what happens to me is people will come up to me and they you know they'll show me their portfolio on their phone uh -huh. that's on uh, you know on an exchange app yeah. and i'll start talking to them about self custody and so many people have said oh yeah i have got a hardware wallet but i don't know i'm like really it seems really complicated and the, and i always say to them it's like look these things are really easy to set up you just need to set yourself a bit of time you just need to follow the instructions that these guys have worked you know very hard on to make to make it really easy um and I guess, as you say, you know, it is intuitive. You guys have spent a lot of time making this process as as smooth as it as it needs to be. Yeah, for, for sure. And, and by the way, coming back back to the point of you know leaving your assets somewhere on some someone's server, or, or, or even you know they even just claim that they have the assets as we saw with FTX. Uh, there's actually one specific number that I dig, dig up um, on why self-custody and that's that more than four billion dollars got stolen from various exchanges and custodians during the basically last 15 years of, of the whole bitcoin existence four billion dollars more than four billion dollars so wow and i know it you know it's it's a statistic but uh but you know if it's if you think that's your personal money that gets stolen you know it's your i don't know whatever it gets your kids tuition or that you were saving up for or something you know that's then i think it gets you know very personal yeah so i think it's a and and, and you know like when i'm preparing for you know some of these presentations etc uh you just look up uh give me uh you know the last hacks or something and there's every month there is something you know there is some yet another wall gets hacked so so yeah self-custody definitely makes sense and as you say uh for us as a company, our mission is really to make crypto security easy for everyone. Yeah. And that's exactly by, you know, making these products intuitive and easy to use. Yeah. There's no point coming up with a, you know, a really nice secure device that looks great if it's, e if it's, if it's hard to use. Exactly. So, yeah. exactly. so I think there's basically two sort of two forces that goes against each other. So sort of the the level of education of users in, 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 in the way like how educated they are about about certain concepts and from the other side is how intuitive or how easy to use the product is and for us the challenge is to close this gap uh, to make it really as, as little of a gap as possible and, and really onboard millions of users to self custody yeah so I should say, folks, if you're watching and you know you haven't used a hardware wallet before, as uh, as Matei said, you know there's information here, but there's also each wallet comes uh, with this getting started pack, which has all the information you need. So you can follow the follow the instructions to do that. It's very very easy. Trust me. If I can do it, anyone can. Okay. Um, and obviously you've got the uh, USB C exactly uh, cable here as well. Um, okay, so we've talked about some of the security features of this mm -hmm. of this new device. Um, I think another thing people will be wanting to know is um, what uh, what sort of coin support, coin and token support are we talking about here? Yeah, so we basically support obviously domain networks and up to I think more than seven thousand different coins and tokens. So okay. we are trying to really you know target the wider crypto audience. We are Bitcoin at heart for sure, but we also acknowledge that you know. All these newcomers coming to the industry, they don't even tell the difference between you know crypto and Bitcoin and all these uh, yeah. uh, awards. So, so yeah, we, we are ready here to be basically for everybody. Yeah.
So obviously there are you know there are tens of thousands of coins and tokens yeah. now, aren't there? Yeah. But yeah, so you've got what, what was it about nine thousand in total? Uh, more than seven thousand. More than seven thousand. Yes. Okay. And we plan to add more, to be honest. Uh, so so it's on our roadmap to to keep sort of listening to the users and, and to the market and, and and you know keep adding new networks as we see fit. Yeah, great. And so people can check that obviously on the Trezor site. And they'll be able to see which which asset they can check which assets this this supports before for they sure, buy. For sure. So so if you go to trezor.io, you can find all the information here. We keep it updated and, and share this information as as much as we can. Awesome. So yeah, just to just to sort of clarify then. So uh, we've talked about the fact that you guys have two previous devices. You have the the model one, which you, you described as kind of entry level device, your first hardware device, right. and then the model T, which came out a few years later, which is a bit more high spec. It has a touch screen and things like that. Exactly. Um, and obviously the model T is a little more expensive than the model one. But you guys have kind of gone. You know, rather than releasing a more high spec device that costs more, you guys have kind of gone in, in the opposite direction. So this is going to be this is going to be much more entry level from a price perspective as well. Exactly. So this device this device retails at seventy nine dollars or euros. Okay. And again, the point is to really attract the you know the masses because of course I understand it even makes sense to start with with custody. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if you have you know a couple bucks there or, or a bit of let's say you know some very small percentage of your total asset uh, if yeah. you put it in, into a perspective uh, but you know once you start sort of basically huddling more in crypto it definitely makes sense uh, to go to go into self, uh, to, to go into self custody and hardware role specifically and of course it makes sense for the central level to be you know, quite affordable, right? Yeah. Because otherwise uh, it will be a hard, sort of a higher bar barrier for, for, the com for the users to come. So that's why we started with yeah. the central level device. Okay. That so this still is like very secure and still d does, the, you know, does the job basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, and this from, from hearing you describe it, this kind of sounds like a, a sort of a mixture really between the Model 1 and the Model T. So it doesn't have, it doesn't have a touch screen. Like the uh, like the Model T does, mm -hmm. but it does have kind of more of those features, more features than you would find on a Model One. Exactly, I I think you, you described it exactly correctly. It's a step up uh, from the Model One. Uh, Model T still has some advantages, as you as you mentioned, for example, the the touch display. Uh, but we will you know sort of expand on those um, in, in that range as well. So so we are planning also other devices in the future. More stuff in the future. Yeah, awesome. For sure. <laughs> well, that leads us on quite nicely because it's not just this uh, this new wallet device that you're that, that you're releasing uh, today as well. Um, so we've also we also have this. Now we've talked about um, obviously one of the most important aspects of self custody mm -hmm. is storing your seed phrase, Correct. keeping that safe. So you guys have addressed this as well. Let's just move uh, this out of the way for the time being. And we'll talk about this. So, can you tell us? Uh, so, this is the key, uh, Trezor Keep Metal. Can right. you tell us uh, what this is and and how it works? So, as you exactly as you say, you know the seed phrase or those the backup of those private keys is really essential. It's the cornerstone of the whole security. So, you can still have very secure hardware wallet, but then you also have the backup. And now the question is, what do you do with the backup, right? Because it's very, <laughs> it's of, of course very important. So that's why we came with a completely new range of products, because this is the first of the range uh, where we help the users to basically keep and manage the, the, that seed phrase, you know, in a, in a secure, s secure way. And that's why we came with what we call Chesar Keep Metal. Uh, and Ooh. as the name suggests, it is, <laughs> you know, very heavy mm -hmm. and very beautiful uh, device. And what this basically does is that you can take those words that you that, you know that backup of those private keys and and basically punch them in the steel, steel right? So, okay. And and keep them securely, you know, for ages, basically. basically yeah. Because it, it is really hard to destroy. We <laughs> ran all kind of tests and, right. and and yeah, it's close to impossible. <laughs> okay. Okay. So so let's have a look at this. This is wow. This is this is heavy. Um. <laughs> so okay. So you've got um. You've got sort of numbered bits for for each word and then so you use this 
uh, punch device. And you also have a pen, don't you? So there's a, there's a sort of marker pen there. So you can, you get your seed phrase. Exactly. Um, and then you can mark it uh, on this, on this, for obviously all the instructions are here. And then I get, is it, you put it, Exactly. You put it in the tray, so don't throw the packaging away. Um, and then you can use that to basically just punch it on like that. Exactly. So right. the, basically the, the story or the journey of, of, the, of the seed goes, to, the device gives it to you, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So the d device translates those five keys into something that is very easy to read and write down. So that's the seed phrase that millions of users use, not just in hardware, but also software roles. So that's what the device gives you. You write it on a paper. And then you basically put it next to the Trezor Key Metal. And as, exactly as you said, you just mark it at the pen where you're supposed to uh, basically punch it. And then you use the spring loaded punch to, to mark those words directly on the metal. Then you just close it. Uh, and there is uh, extra seed sticker that you, uh, sorry, extra um, uh, sort of sticker as a seal. Oh, yeah. That you just make sure that it ha hasn't been tempered with uh, if, if you, in case you wanted to recover the seed through Trezor or even another Trezor, right? So yeah. it's just another uh, sort of protection. Okay, and then it's hollow here, so you can actually write down your seed phrase on a piece of paper as well, f roll it up and, and exactly. stick it in there too. Exactly, that's, and, that's, that's the whole thing. Okay, and then it all, and then it seals up, and yeah, so that's, as I say, that is, that is meaty. Um, <laughs> so this is presumably fireproof, Waterproof, exactly. drop out of the window proof, exactly. etc. You, <laughs> you can try, and it's again, it's it's uh, it's close to impossible to destroy. Okay, and then yeah, as as you say, you can put the you can put the seal on as well. Exactly. Great, um, and yeah, I should say, folks, like you know, this this may seem an elaborate way of saving some some words, but uh, if you're the sort of person who thinks, well, I'll just write down my seed phrase and keep it as a Google Keep note or something like that. Again, you're not doing it right. You should never store your seed phrase online at all. It should always exactly. be physically written down and stored securely. Great. So that's the uh, that's the keep metal. So there's one other um, bit of hardware that I want to talk about today, and this is uh, another. Can you tell us, Mate, what this is? For sure. So uh, I think I mentioned already we are Bitcoiners at heart. So we wanted to do something for for Bitcoiners. And, and Bitcoin in general. Mm -hmm. So that's why we came with Trezor Say 3, the Bitcoin only edition. Okay. So it's quite nice because, you know, as, as uh, compared to the green packaging, this comes in, you know, orange with some uh, nice quotes uh, from Satoshi himself. And then, you know, again, like the, the packaging, you know, even the manual is, is, is in the orange color. And let me maybe show the back of the Trezor Say Oh, wow. And it comes, you know, in the, of course, orange. <laughs> what, what else? Yeah. Beautiful. And yeah. So, so we are quite, you know, again, like quite proud of this. Um, the, you know, it comes as a limited edition. So to celebrate those 10 years of Trezor being around and helping Bitcoin users and, and you know, with the security and ex user, user experience of managing Bitcoin, uh, it's, it's, sort of uh, our way to celebrate those 10 years. Yeah. Uh, and every 21 euros or dollars from every order goes to basically um, our sort of educational initiatives in Africa. Okay. Where we kind of, you know, want to spread the knowledge around Bitcoin. And, and uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a CSR as well, like an initiative as, as um, because we, we believe there are, you know, countries where Obviously, it makes sense uh, for, for Bitcoin to be used more. So mm -hmm. that's why well, we, again, invest in, in the education because we think that's the right thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. Giving something back to the Bitcoin community. Exactly. Fantastic. So yes, as you say, this is a, this is a limited edition device. There are only, there are only going to be a, a handful of these produced. 2013 specifically. 2013. The when, when we started. Okay. Um, and obviously, the firmware, as you say, only supports Bitcoin. Exactly. There's nothing else you can you can sort of use uh, with mm. with this device. It's truly Bitcoin only. It's also supported in the software, so so it's you know um, the UI or uh, the design of the of the Trezor Suite, the app that goes with uh, with uh, Trezor Say Three, you know, has this Bitcoin colors and yeah. features. I think a lot of Bitcoiners will really appreciate you know not just the fact that it's a 
you know, it's a special, it's a special Bitcoin only device, but it isn't even possible to store another type of crypto on it. Yes. I think that will, I think that will resonate with them. Yeah, for sure. Brilliant. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Yeah. Well, Matei, this is great. Congratulations on these right. new products. And as you hinted at, these are the first of, uh, of a few. So we're going to see more announcements from Trezor in the not too distant future. Exactly. Yeah. I like to say we are just getting started. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah, we are, you know, it's been, it's been a difficult year for crypto. But as you said earlier on, it just, it just highlights the importance of self-custody, doesn't it? And for sure. um, for sure. yeah, I, I'm staggered that only 2% of, of users are doing it. So there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of growth still to come. Exactly, a lot of work to be done. And, and yeah, we are here to, to make that happen. Nice. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, yeah, these devices, as I said earlier, uh, you can order them direct from Trezor. That is the way to do it. Order direct from the manufacturer. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to do that. And yeah, uh, thank you to Matei for talking to us today. And let, me, let us just remind you one more time, if you're not uh, practicing self-custody, you're not doing it right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having me.